This is a quick overview of Plato's dialogue, the Protagoras, where Socrates is conversing with Protagoras. And a little background on Protagoras. Protagoras is a sophist, so he thought that humans are the measure of all things. And he made a living by lecturing to people and saying that he could teach people how to be virtuous. And the question that Socrates asks is, he really wonders if virtue can be taught. And so Protagoras provides a story and an argument. The argument goes something like this. Of course, virtue can be taught because we punish people for not being virtuous. We don't punish people for being ugly or things that they cannot control. But since we punish people for not being virtuous, that means that it's within their control, which means that they can learn how to be virtuous. So Plato says, okay, that sounds good, but there's just one little question he has, and then he wonders whether virtue is uh, a single thing or is it something with distinct parts that are completely separate. So is justice, temperance, piety, all these things uh, different things, or they, are they all just singular? Here, uh, he raises what has become to be known as the unity of the virtues. And he gives an argument that says something like, goes something like this, for everything, there's only one opposite that a person might have. So for beauty, there's ugliness. And for the virtue of temperance, the opposite would be folly. But then Plato points out that for wisdom, the opposite is folly. And there's one and only opposite. So if the opposite of temperance is folly and the opposite of wisdom is folly, that means wisdom is the same thing as temperance. So now you have two virtues that are identical. And Plato implies, or rather Socrates through Plato, implies that all of the virtues are the same. And Protagoras raises the issue of courage. And he says, not courage. Courage is not like the other virtues. Um, and in order to sort this out, they raise the issue of pleasure. Now, they both agree that pleasure is a good, it's kind of a bottom line thing that Protagoras is going to say, since humans are the measure of all things, whatever gives them pleasure is good. And Plato actually agrees with this, that pleasure is a good. But then he questions, why can people be overcome by the passions? 